All right, guys, let's just clean this up a little bit and combine these two files. So I'm going to go back to our GeoJSON folium, this file, the one that actually makes the map. And I'm going to copy all this and bring it into our convert to GeoJSON file and just paste it at the bottom, basically. And I'm going to move the import statement up top. Keep the function up here. Um, our in file, we're going to get rid of this. And here, instead of hard coding it, we're going to use something in Python called input. So this is going to bring up, when we run this, it's going to bring up a little prompt that says, hey, input your data here. And then we're going to actually paste it. It, it lets us work with Python interactively. So I'm just going to say, um, copy, paste the location of your shape file. And I'm going to dot strip any quotes that get associated with it. And I'll show you why I had to do this in a sec. Um, so that's our in file. Um, so here's our function. So it's using the in file. Now the out file, instead of having this hard coded, we want to make this a variable too. So let's just say output geojson equals os.path.split ext for split extension and then we're going to put the in, in file and then we're going to use the the first in file so the first um, so I'll show you what this does in one second and let me just add plus.geojson and it's complaining because we don't have our OS package yet. So import OS. And for now, let's comment all this out. I just want to show you what's happening so far. So let's go ahead and I'm going to print in file, print output geojson, and then actually for that, let's print os.path.split extension in file. And I'll show you what's happening here. All right, so I just clicked run, and now it's saying copy paste location of your shapefile, and it's waiting for me to actually paste that data, that information in. So I'm going to shift click, copy our shapefile, and just control V to paste it in. Okay, so you see what got printed. The in file is what we basically passed it in. So it's the shape file. And you see there's no quotes here because I stripped them. And I'll show you what happens if we don't have this strip statement. All right, paste it in. So if you don't strip it, this was causing me problems before. See how it's keeping this one double quote there? and there's not a double quote on this side that was causing issues with when I was trying to pass it to the um, shape file at the GeoJSON function. So I just decided to strip that off strip. Oops. I'm um, just strip that off. So I got rid of um, these two quotes. So now I'll run this again and you'll see there's no quotes there. So no quotes. So that was in file. The next one is os.path.split extension in file. So what happens when you do this? We're inputting this right here. That's the input. And we're saying split the extension. So what it's doing is it, it's finding the dot and it's splitting it right there. And it's making a tuple out of it. So we can see it's a tuple because it has those parentheses. So everything to the left of the dot is the f in this item and then the, the extension is in the second um, position in this tuple so we're interested in now in accessing this data without the extension because we want to add a new extension called geojson so that's what we did here so we said we want the in file but we just want this and then we want to add .geojson. 
So now if we, the print statement here for output GeoJSON, that's exactly what we want our output to look like. So now we're ready to feed it to our shapefile um, to GeoJSON function. So now we can use the out, output GeoJSON here. All right. I mean, in, in reality, you probably wouldn't do it like this. You'd probably convert all your GeoJSONs first and then use them like that. But this is just an example of what we can do with this. Um, okay, so we're converting the shape file. Now we have our map. That's all good. We don't need this GeoJSON because we already have it. But here for GeoJSON, we need to give it the output GeoJSON variable. Okay. Um, that should do it. So let's call this index uh, ht um, index. I probably already have an index two. No, I don't. All right, so index two. And let's get rid of this GeoJSON because we want to create a new one. All right, so let's run this again. Where's my shape file? That is right here. And we should notice once we run this, we'll get a new GeoJSON right here. All right, finished. And if I go here, I see the new GeoJSON. And now if we go back to our index dot underscore two, there we go. Now we're using our new GeoJSON that was just created from our script. Um, so yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, so another thing that's worth mentioning, instead of running it in PyCharm, you could also just run this script like this. So inside your Anaconda prompt, you can say Python, and then we can just give it the path to this script. So if you right click on this and say, um, where is it? I guess file path. File path. Yeah, show and explore. I think that copied the file path. Now it's just showing it me in explore. Basically, you just need to copy the path of this. And if I paste it here, same thing, but we're just running inside this terminal instead of in PyCharm. So uh, let's get rid of the GeoJSON because at this point we don't have any handling for duplicate files because we already had one created there. Um, just hit enter. And everything should work. Looks like it's thinking extra hard. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, so it finished. Um, so that's just another, another handy way of, of using this. Uh, yeah, so hopefully that was helpful. Uh, again, I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope I wasn't all over the place with this, but um, I will post these two new files in uh, GitHub, and I'll also make like a little notes document that has like links for some of these things, because uh, I know those are helpful. Uh, all right, see you guys later.